I'm Anil Kumar and we are exploring how to solve exponential equations using logarithms. Sam makes monthly investments of $1.60 into a savings account that pays 3% annual interest compounded monthly. If he makes payments for 5 full years, how much money will he earn, right? So that is the future value. Formula for future value in such cases Future value equals to R, R is the monthly investment, times 1 plus I, I is the interest rate, to the power of N, N is the number of installments, minus 1 divided by I. Let us see what we are given and what we need to figure out. So we are given monthly installment investment of $60, that means R is equals to 60 for us in dollars. Interest rate I is 3%, that means 0 0.03, 3 divided by 100. But it is compounded monthly, so we have to divide this by 12. So that is kind of important. So let's divide uh, 0 0.03 by 12. Uh, so we get 2.5. So we get 2.5 to times 10 to the power of minus 3. So that means th that means 0 0.0025. Okay. So so that is the decimal value. So, so minus 3, 1, 2, and 3. That is how you get. So interest is that much for you. Compound monthly. If he makes payments for 5 full years. Now that data is in months, right? So 5 years. So the time for or the number of installments, N, will be equals to, there are 12 months, right? So 12 months times 5. And that is equal to 60 right so n is equal to 60 for us and we need to find the future value so that is the question for us let us substitute these values and figure it out so future value for us is r which is 60 so 60 within brackets 1 plus i which is 0 to the power of n which is 60 for us now minus 1 divided by i which is 0 0.0025 right so that is how it is let us see how to use calculator to calculate this value it is better to divide 60 by 0 0.0025 first so we'll do 60 divided by 0 0.0025 so we get 24,000 so write 24,000 times let's add this so we get 1.0025 to the power of 60 minus 1 correct so that gives us 24,000 within brackets we will do 1.0025 bracket close exponent is 60 for us okay so let's redo it so it is 24,000 let's do everything together times within brackets so let's open two brackets since we have to do the exponent and then minus one 1.0025 bracket close power is 60 right and then uh, we do minus of one and this bracket close for the outer bracket correct so so that is equal to 3878 0 0.80 right so that is how we could calculate our answer and we get future value of uh, approximately 38,000 I mean 3,878 so that is the answer for us so we get dollars 3878.80 as our answer in this case right so in this particular application we have taken up a simple case where the time is known to us correct now what you can do here is that is a part of your question and the question for you is how many installments how many payments you can say will help Sam to have let's say dollar five thousand from this investment
So, so that is the part of the question where you may need to use logarithms to find n, right? So, so that is the question for you. We will answer a similar question in the next video. So, now your future value is given to you, which is 5000, right? So, you can rearrange this formula, find the value of n, correct? For the same interest rate, 3% per annum, compounded monthly. So, try to do this part of the question and uh, follow the link which I am attaching with a similar question. So we will not answer this question, but we will uh, answer a similar question. I hope that will give you a good practice. Thank you and all the best.